Hi, welcome. This episode is called Program Your Subconscious. Be positive. Your mind is more powerful than you think. What is down in the well comes up in the bucket. Fill yourself with positive things. That's a quote from Tony Dungy. In this episode, we're going to go on a journey into the subconscious. What is the subconscious? The subconscious mind is the sum total of all of our experiences, including our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. It's also our knowledge. If someone tells you a 10-digit number, uh, your conscious mind probably won't remember it for very long, whereas your subconscious mind will remember it forever. That's why it's important to program our subconscious mind with positive thoughts, feelings, and emotions. If you want to achieve what you want for yourself, you need to properly program your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind will initiate thoughts, feelings, and actions that, is, that it has rehearsed the most. That's why repetition matters for programming your subconscious mind. Our conscious mind, through repetition, must teach the subconscious mind the practices it wants it to develop. As Henry Ford said, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right. This is why through repetition of positive affirmations is so powerful. The repetitions of positive affirmations, positive affirmations was one of the key components of my stroke treatment plan. I still repeat positive affirmations before I go to sleep or any time I need a pep talk. For example, if I'm feeling tired, I say to myself, I am high energy. Positive affirmations are proven self-care methods because of their ability to rewire our brains and change our outlook. Much like exercise, they raise the level of to of feel-good hormones and push our brains to form new clusters of positive thoughts that instantly boost our mood. And that's a quote from Syringa Psychiatry. Positive affirmations are most effective when said out loud. Say them in the present tense and keep it simple. For example, I am healthy, I am happy, then really internalize your affirmation as something you believe to be true. Write them down. The aim of positive affirmations is to plant positive th seeds, thoughts in your head about what you want to attract into your life. You basically repeat statements in your head until they become fully embedded and you believe them. All the things around us in our lives, what our parents believe, what society believes, what our friends believe, and what we believe, mostly changes the way we deal with things in the future. The subconscious mind is always assimilating, it is looking for references in our surroundings, even though in truth we have unlimited potential. In order to make a jump outside, of what is expected of us, it requires a monumental leap from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind. People often get up, caught up in self-doubts. They think, say things like, I can't do this. I don't do this. I'm feeling nervous. My hands are sweaty. All these things, depression and anxiety, are based on the subconscious ideas that are no longer helpful for you. If you want to transform from ordinary to extraordinary and achieve what you want for yourself, you must avoid self negative self-talk. For example, I'll never lose weight. What's the point? When I'm experiencing self-doubt, I go to my office and look at my mission statement 
how I'm going to make the world a better place. I look at my goals. What do I want to achieve? I look at my plaques, awards, and motivational slogans. I repeat my positive affirmations. I jump up and down and say, I can do this. Always stay positive and you will get positive results. You can and you must. Stay happy, 